<laughs> All right, Angela's on her way already, showing us up. <laughs> so let's um, get the blanket on that. Let's make the blanket long way. Anyway, do you all have a good Christmas? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was the first year that the my husband was in South Carolina, so it was quite not, not her, but it was it was all right. Let's yes, we have to be back, yes, back today. I feel like we're <laughs> Looks like you're all by the pool, and Angela's one of those oh, that doesn't want to talk. She's just soaking up the rays. Yeah. Oh, you two know, will be there next to Jim and oh. Rob and Coke or whatever. Jim and Tommy. <laughs> 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 all right. So balls are underneath the back of the knees. <coughs> Oh, I'm so ready for this. Too. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Okay. Yeah, it was the best thing now. Oh. Okay. Let's lie back and let the body drop heavily into the floor. Aware of the sounds around us, we're going to let them be and bring our attention inside. Find that gentle wave of your breath. Feel your back drop heavily down. Back of the head, arms, heels.
let's bend the knees, place the feet on top of the bolster. And then please bring the soles of the feet together, let the knees drop out. Palms turn up. And then we can make a little upside down goal post shape with the arms, if it's comfortable for your arms. If it's not, you can leave them. Yeah, if the wrists don't drop down towards the floor and it's uncomfortable, you can leave the arms alongside you or even just extend them out to the side. Notice how this shift in the position of your arms makes a shift in the way your breath moves somehow. You can see that what we're really perceiving is the way, I guess, of the prana, which moves the breath, the way that moves. So we create space and the energy goes to fill it. Soften across your forehead between the eyebrows. Soften the little muscles around your eyes, your cheeks, your lips, your jaw, the throat. So flexes. Check if you're gripping at all the thighs and the hip muscles. Just bring the hands to the outside of the knees, bring the knees together and bring the knees into your chest and take them apart and draw the knees towards the armpit and just rock a little gently side to side, cross your lower back, tailbone dropping down towards the floor. Good, and then coming to center, let's bring the arms inside the legs. So we'll come to happy baby, there are a few variations. You can hold around the back of the ankles or the calves, draw the knees down towards your armpit and lift the heels towards the ceiling. So that's one way. Yeah, great, Angela. So that you, as if you're, well, if the ceiling was flat, as if you're standing on the ceiling, good. Otherwise, you can hold the big toes or even hold the outer edge of your feet. Good, great. Good. Try to keep the inner edges of your feet parallel. Good. And relax the shoulders and let's gently rock a little side to side, getting a sense of some fluidity around the hip sockets, around the lower back. Flowing, soft movements. Good. And please release the feet to the floor. Just edging your bolster out of the way a moment. Take a couple of breaths here, letting your back come to the top.
Now today it's quite nice to come into bridge with the feet on the bolster, so you can edge it a little closer perhaps. Push down through the feet, lift the hips, pressing into the prop. Good. And then reach the tailbone forward as you come down. Very nice. So we'll take the feet off the bolster now. And just bring the bolster to your right side. So on the right side. And please bring the left ankle on top of your right knee. Push into that left heel and bring your left palm onto the inner left thigh and coax the thigh away from you. And breathe here. Your legs. Face forward. Good. Please keep the legs like this. Pick the feet up and take the legs over to the right so that you land with your lower leg resting on your bolster and the sole of your left foot resting on your bolster. So maybe you have to adjust the position a little bit. Good. So your left knee is up towards the ceiling. Your right leg is supported. Move that knee maybe a little more away from you for a little more stretch sensation. Ideally, the sole of the left foot is actually on your support. Do you want to stay here? And then arms can be again just long out to the side or in the upside down dolphin shape. Your relax. It's comfortable for your neck. Your gaze is to the left. Wow. And then let's shift the top leg, so the left leg, and stack it on top of the right leg. So you have both legs, both lower legs stacked, resting on your bolster. Belly can spin to your left. The gaze can be to your left. Fingers relaxed, wrists relaxed, shoulders, jaw, throat. Gripping those muscles of the thighs and the hips, you can soften, relax them a little more.
So we're going to release the arms a moment. Keep the top leg, so your left leg on the bolster. And lengthen your right leg out. And you can come a little bit more onto the right side. And you can even draw your bolster maybe a little higher up. Keep your lower leg on the bolster. The right hand can rest on the left leg. And the left arm can just be wherever is comfortable for you. Maybe just in a kind of shavasana position behind your back. So that shoulder just nicely relaxes towards the floor. If it's uncomfortable, you can put a folded blanket or something underneath your left shoulder blade for some support. The right leg can just be passive actually in this restorative variation. So we're in our third twist. This, uh, I think one of my, if not the favorite yoga group of postures. They just so balancing, integrating. They realign all this polarities, varying polarities in the body. Realign the different parts of the brain. Awesome. Shoulders relaxing. Okay, so the breath in, uh, coming out of the posture. I'm just going to let them both legs out and take a moment in Shavasana. Feel the right side of your body, feel the left side of your body. You might feel in a way a little kind of lopsided right now. Not only in the body, but maybe more on a subtle sense in the energy. Okay, and then please bend the knees. Just take the bolster to the left side. <laughs> and this time we're bringing, yep, yeah, right arm to my right ankle on top of the left knee. Right hand to the inner thigh. Just make sure you keep that foot flex. So keep pushing into the heel. Yeah, good job. So the back of the ankle is long. And a little application of a little pressure to coax the knee away from you. Jaw is relaxed, face is relaxed.
And then we'll release the hands, we'll kick both feet up. We're going to travel over to the left side, adjusting the bolster so we can land with the lower leg, lower left leg on top, and the sole. So we've still got the so we've still got the right ankle on top of the knee. Remember that was our first one. Yeah, and we'll keep that configuration whilst we come into the twist. Um, keep the, so the foot is actually up in front of the knee on the bolster. It might mean that you're, yeah, so you're other way, Trish. Just pull the bolster a little bit up towards your head. Doesn't matter if your um, foot hangs off a little bit, the left foot, and then the right foot comes to the top of the bolster. Yay. <laughs> okay, good. Then you get that nice stretch in the hip. Arms, if you wish, upside down goalpost shapes. So you get a little opening space across the upper torso, around the heart center as well. Gaze from the other to the lower leg. You can adjust the position of the right knee for more stretch, less stretch. Good, and then let's stack the lower legs. Ideally, knees and ankles on the bolster. Arms can stay in this goalpost, upside down goalpost shape, or arms can be out to the side, palms up. Choose the most comfortable position for your head. Relax the back of the right foot.
Draw the bolster in and up a little bit. So you can just let that right leg drop down heavily onto the support. Arms extend out to the sides now. And gaze is wherever feels comfortable for you. So ideally, we're looking to the right in this posture. But if that's uncomfortable for your neck, then maybe keep your head to the left or even centered over your chest. Let's gently come onto our back. Going to rest in Shavasana. So please center yourself on it. Back drops down, arms and legs drop down, head drops heavily down. Observe how you feel in the left side and the right side. And then can you get a sense of perceiving the breath evenly in the two nostrils? And it's like the two breaths, two streams are like one stream. And it's almost as if you have a zip through the center of your torso and the breath pulls that zip up. Gaining a little you know, integration this way as well between the two sides of the body. Do two more breaths like that. Okay, and then for a moment, let go of your breath. Let's roll on to the right side. Come to sit up a moment. The bolster is not quite to, I mean, <coughs> sorry, if the blanket is not quite to the top edge of your mat, this, what, this side of the short edge, and take the blanket, just pull it up a little bit, or um, this way, I mean, this way, towards me. So back bends, head spacing this way. And then we can bring the bolster, or if you have a high bolster, you can also fold your blanket instead. If you have an extra blanket, you can take your blanket across that nice big one right now. Across the middle. Yeah, across the middle of your mat. So bolster or nice blanket across the middle. So you'll make this kind of shape like of long shape with your folded blanket or your bolster. Okay. Um, and then we want to, so flat is probably good. If I show you what I'm doing, then you'll know where to go with the, with the blanket. So with your blanket, <laughs> with the blanket, you know, you want like this kind of shape. 
Otherwise, it's nice to, you only have one, and you have a bolster, and let's use the bolster. Okay. And we've done it before, we're going to come over the bolster, and then we'll come to lie down with the hips on the bolster. We're stacking the hands, elbows out to the side. You can turn your head to one side, bring your big toes together and let your heels drop out. Good. Good. Okay. Good. So if you want to keep your head down, you know, stack your hands over your forehead on the back hands or one cheek on your head. Feel the breath. Maybe at the back of the waist. Maybe in your lower back, creating space. Taking nourishment to the tissues, joints, the organs at the back of the waist. So, kidneys, right? The dream of life. Get a little TLC here to this gentle massage in a massage created by the breathing. If you have turn to one side, let's turn it the other way. Start in the muscles around the eyes, across the forehead, start in the jaw.
Okay, so we're going to move out of this structure. So bring your head to center, bring the hands underneath the shoulder, and let's lift from on, on to all fours. Please take your bolster and turn it so it's long ways on the mat. And you might just like to turn the edges of your blanket in towards the bolster so that you have space for your um, hands and feet to grip. Also, you might like to have a brick nearby in case you want to use the brick. So I'm going to um, come up to down and rest the to grip the socks. <laughs> rest the head. So adjust your hands, adjust your feet. So you can rest the hairline on the brick. How's everything there? Yeah, great. Good. Yeah, I take the brick on, shall I? <laughs> brick on top. Oh, brick. Yeah, great. <laughs> Okay, a couple more breaths. Good, and then let's come down. Take your blanket out again. So far, let's make it smooth. Take the crease of that. We're coming to another. Twist. <coughs> yeah, we have time. We're coming to another twist. So let's sit with the left hip up against the bolster. And the second four. We'll turn to face the bolster. You can also prop up underneath with the brick. <coughs> that's better for you. And then as you face the bolster, just lift palms alongside it. Lift the front body, so you really lengthen, lift the rib cage off the hips, and try to keep that length as you come forward to rest belly and chest down. You can have your head to the right. So you've got the knees to the right, so head can be in the same direction as the knees. Or if you don't have a neck problem, if you're quite free in the neck, you can turn your head to the left, away from the knees. Shoulders relax. And surrender the whole weight of your front torso into the support. Let's bring hands to the floor. Coming to sit up. So just short stays in the twist. And we'll come with the right hip, so just go the other way. Right hip against the bolster. Turn to face it. Lift both sides of your rib cage off the hips. So you get nice length through the front body. And then come forward. Head to the left. 
pull to the right. Shoulders relax away from the ear. Can you feel a nice stretch across your back here? Breathe into any stretch sensation. Feel the tissue softening, relaxing with your exhale. Feel any tension in the tissues, stresses for holding the body from today or from recent days or for a long time. You know? Feel them start to release on quite a deep level as you relax into the end of your exhale here. Twist, remember, support our exhale. Okay, bring the palms down, push through your hands, come up, and then you can swivel the hips. Come to face the bolster. Uh, you can bring the grip between the feet, perhaps. Or the like that, we go without the grip. <clears throat> you can also bring one brick forward. So we're maybe not going so deeply into the floor there. It's entirely up to you where you go to here. You can hold around the feet, around the front of the brick or the bolster. Relax, please. Relax the jaw. And then you can stay with the feet against the brick, 
or if you wish, for the last few minutes of the fall, you can lengthen the legs out and complete. Just let the back of the legs drop heavily down. Feet wide apart. And I have the And just gently bring the hands in as so you come to sit upright. Press the back of the legs down. <laughs> Push into the heels. Press the back of the legs down. And lift out of the lower back. Lift the crown of your head. Get a sense of trying to push your sit bones heavily into the floor. Feel from that your back lengthen. Good, and then hands to the outside of the knees. Let's bring the knees together. Good, we have a little time for one last restorative. So we want to take the ball, so we're gonna take the blanket away this time. We'll have the bolster still lengthways. We've done this before. We're going to call the blanket to make a square. So a little square something like that okay or you might if you've gotten these high bolsters you might even want to fold it over again so we're looking for something about the same height as our bolster and then place it at the end of your mat where your feet are going to go at the top particularly if you have a long body like me you might want to close the brick or two bricks so that again you have a little more space about the same height as your bolster. And then, anybody has a strap? If you don't have a strap, it's not a big deal. If you brought your strap with you, you're going to make a loop. No? <laughs> Feels like after this, it's going to be hot chocolate time. Oh. Oh, sleep time. <laughs> sleep time. <laughs> Cold and to stay. All right. I'm not going to write the rest of this. So don't do what I, this is the way not to do it. <laughs> no twists <laughs> in your loop, otherwise, that's going to get uncomfortable. Yeah. Okay. So about this thing, your loop, remember, we're going to wrap it. We've done this before, we're going to tie the lower legs together for a little bit more stability. 
got a while longer. We started like, and then you want your butt on the bolster. When you lie back, you want your head supported, and then the legs are going to come out onto the blankets. So I'm going to make mine a little higher. So it's more like the height of my bolster. And then slip your feet inside the loop. Bring the loop up around the lower legs. Once you're in situ, tighten up. Okay. So you're strapped in nicely. And then lie back. Like, make sure your feet are actually supported. You don't want to feel well your ankles. You don't want to feel your ankles hanging off. Do you like this one? Yes. Oh, yes. Ah. Di, are you okay? <laughs> Is it comfortable there, that strap? Is it on your yeah. ankles? Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, great. Hmm. So it's good to have the strap around the lower legs rather than around the ankle joint. Oh. And strong enough that the leg, tight enough that the legs can't fall apart. Yeah. That's the idea, so we get a little stability. Angela, you're okay there? I'm so Good. So, palms turn up. We can completely let go here. Great, guy. that's better, isn't it? Do you want to turn it up one notch so the head's not dropping down? We can just rest the back of the head on it. How's that? Better like that than the other one. Roll from. We've got our nice background music that we've done for you. Simply, can you feel yourself supporting? Notice how it is to let go into some support of this. So because of time, this posture will be like our Shavasana. So if you would now like to just, you can keep the loop, or you can slip the legs out of the loop. So you can just really let the legs go.
the last few breaths to expand your body for any lingering tensions that you perceive in the tissues. Just feel them dissolve through your props, deep into the ground. So we're going to bend the knees, bring the hands into the floor, and bring yourself to sit up. Let's come to sitting at the front of the mat. Check in a moment, cross-legged. Check in with how you are at the end of class. Palms can be up or down, depending which feels better for you. If they're up, all fingers and thumbs together, let the shoulder blades drop down your back. And just come again into that deep stillness that we find when we're in the postures. Notice where this place of stillness is within you. Know that it's always there. And always get that there through a pause anytime in our day. We're coming to the breath just for four or five minutes. Don't need an hour. Let's chant the mantra on one time to really wake the body before we go on our way. Full breath. Oh. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jenny. So good to see you all. Thank you.